Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Corey. Today I'm going to be flipping a pair of side tables that I got off of Facebook Marketplace for $20. I'm going to show you all my hacks on how I recreated a top on here since they were missing both of their glass tops. These pieces will be donated to young adults aging out of foster care. Here's a better look at the pair together. I had posted a picture of these on my community tab and asked you guys what you thought I should do as far as the color on these pieces. Many of you said that you liked the colors that they already were. The only problem was that the top part where the copper color is was just not in a good enough condition to keep it that way and the bottom inside part was not painted thoroughly enough for it to cover the white background and you can see here what I'm talking about but I couldn't redo that color because I don't have that color. So I looked through my stash of different paints and found a color that I think would be a really great complement to the style of this piece. But first, I am going to spray some shellac on the top to help smooth out that chippy area. This is actually the only work I did on this piece. My husband did all of the rest of it because I have been very, very sick with my pregnancy. I got an ultrasound done and a checkup done and baby is all healthy, but I am exhausted. So from here on out in this project, my husband is going to be doing the rest of the flip on his own. I am so proud of him. He did such a good job. We used this color here by Rust-Oleum. It is called Moss Green. I wanted to stick with a similar color because you guys were loving the green color that it already was. So give the people what they want. And I figured if many of you liked it, then that meant that it would be a good choice for somebody that we would be donating the piece for. And the handle that he's using to spray paint here is what helps give it a really even coat, even if you're not a very experienced spray painter. And I have it linked in my Amazon store down below. You might also be able to find it in some local hardware stores near you. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I always start my pieces upside down when I am spraying especially. So my husband did the same thing that I always do. And he did a really great job with doing good coverage by starting upside down and then flipping the piece right side up and finishing the coats right side up. The spray paint had amazing coverage, so he only had to do one coat upside down, one coat right side up, and the whole piece was covered perfectly. The top was missing on both of these, like I mentioned earlier, so we're going to replace that top, or I should say he's going to replace that top, with some faux marble floor tiles. These floor tiles are actually pretty thick because of how large they are. If the hole had been smaller, we would have been able to use a thinner tile, and this thicker tile was a beast against our tile saw. We use this rigid brand tile saw to do all of the tile work in our own house and we hadn't replaced the blade on it yet. So he went ahead and repla replaced the blade on it to see if that would fix the issue of it being really difficult to cut. And he told me that changing the blade made only a little bit of a difference, that it was just such a thick tile that it was kind of hard to cut. So I would recommend if you are somebody who's going to do this type of tile cutting with thick pieces of tile, to get a more powerful tile saw than what we have, although this one does really well with thin tiles up until this point. And he's measuring out that hexagon shape before cutting that shape on the tile saw again. Here is a quick listen to what a tile saw sounds like. I turned that down to only about 14% of what it actually sounds like, but I like to give you guys a good idea of what power tools sound like, feel like, look like, and what they can do as well. Once this piece is done, he's going to dry fit it onto the piece of furniture just to make sure that his measurements were all correct before tracing that piece of tile to cut out the second piece for the second table. I love how each table is going to be a little bit different because the marble tiles are all just a little bit different. Here is how they turned out in the end. I love this botanical color. We're trying to use up all of our spray paints while my husband is helping out during projects while I'm pregnant. Since I cannot use those spray paints while pregnant, I thought that it would be a really good opportunity to not waste those paints that we still have as well as give these pieces that green color that you guys were loving. To me, it's like a modern take on the cottage core style, which is so fun and whimsical. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to hit subscribe down below and I'll see you next time.